pull. That'll be car number 17. That is Jason Palmer in the Johnny's Package Store entry. Of course, he's out of Berlin, Connecticut. And right beside him on the outside pole, starting second, it is car number 44 on Ashway, Rhode Island. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Aaron Drake. Two rows back, starting third, it is car number 32 for Chris Bakai out of Farmington, Connecticut. And right beside him, starting fourth, it's car number 52 out of Farmington, Connecticut, the brother of Chris, Mark Bakai. Three rows back, starting fifth, it is car number 38, that is Mike Beebe out of Fisco, Connecticut. And right beside him in car number 91, looking for his fourth victory in a row out of Ledger, Connecticut. Please give a loud applause for Jeffrey Paul. Starting seventh, it's George Whitney in car number nine, and right beside him, starting eighth, it's car number 27. Starting ninth, it'll be car 47 for David Smith out of Broughton, Connecticut. And right beside him, rolling off 10th, it's car number 13. Starting 11th, it's car number 22 for Paul Peon out of Pawtucket, Connecticut. And right beside him, rolling off 12th, it's car number 31 for Michael Gervais. Last three cars rounding out the field, car number 13. Car number five, starting 13th, that is Carl Bone out of Waterford, Connecticut. And right beside him in the 05, it's Jerry Cordaire. And rounding out the field, starting 15th, it's car zero out of Seymour, Connecticut. Please welcome Ben Esposito. So that's how they'll roll off. 15 cars in the running, 20 laps of distance. And in just a moment, we'll see the nightcap on what has been a great night of racing here at the Waterford Speedboat. Much improved driver will try to hold off Aaron Drake on his own. Johnny's back and store entry girls right to work. That white machine is up by about a half a car length. Good battle developing for second for one of the guys. And that is Mark and car, or Chris in car number 32 as he stops into second. Lindsay goes on the outside of the 32. So the second place days for Chris McKay are number is here comes Lynn Beebe making it up for one in the second place. Chris Wall made up Lynn Beebe wasting absolutely no time. He started back and forth. He's quickly all the way up to second, but Mark Pekai not backing down the line. George Whitney has a full head of steam in car number nine as he will storm plow his way into the number three position as he snips his way underneath one baby. He could have a challenge for the lead as Chris Pekai looking for elbow room underneath the 17 of Jason Palmer. Chris Pekai on the inside will give it to Jesse and Jason Palmer as he's still up front, but not for long, man, as this Pekai man just will not go away. Neither will George Whitney in the nine and the 38 of BB. It is Mark McKay in car number 52. A little shuffle by McKay. Slight contact to BB, but both drivers able to shake off the incident. So let BB and Mark McKay side by side racing right now and another side by side battle developing for first. It's Chris McKay down low. It's Jason Palmer up high. We have a new leader. And a new challenger for second, and that is. Whitney in car number nine, not too far away is the 17 of Jason Palmer. And look who has joined the front runners at the front of the field, Jeffrey Paul, going for his fourth consecutive win. He currently is in sixth place. So 14 laps remain here. Chris McKay is in first. In second, it's car number nine. For George Whitney, and in third right now, it's car 17. So great battles developing all over the place, Matt. We go single file. Now it is Mark McKay who has moved into third. So the nine of Whitney surrounded by the McKay as uh, in front is Chris, in third is Mark, and in the middle is Mr. Whitney. Right now the McKay is a two-piece of the right George Whitney the Salami. What can he do though here? Can he make a move only time will 12? 11 laps remaining this time by. Your leader still coming up, 32, and Chris McKay. Here comes Jeffrey Paul looking for some room as he is in the 38 of BB. So now in fourth place, Jeffrey Paul is car number 91, making that fifth place. And he still has a ways to go before he can uh, see the 32 of Chris McKay. It's all a uh, car stranded in turn four. Let's see if this brings out the yellow. And it the uh, yellow's out. So we saw a car in this for a restart. Makai will be down low, George Whitney up high. Green flags in the air, we're back to the field. 32 with Chris Makai going right to work, but look at 
George Whitney. Like a rocking on the outside, side by side, Matt. And also moving up quickly is Mark Wakai in car number 52. So Whitney having trouble hanging in on the outside. Mark gets a little sideways in turn four, and it costs him some ground to Whitney. So we're just about halfway through here. Single file action for the top four spots. Chris Mackay still up front. George Whitney still in the middle of the pack with the Mackay brothers. Mark is third, and moving up to fourth now looks like Jeffrey Paul. Jeffrey Paul is back to the rear end. All over that car like a billboard. Now down to the back stretch. Palmer in fifth. Ben Esposito in sixth. As they maneuver their way out of the turn, it is still Chris McKay. Single file we go. Mark McKay now looking to make a move on the nine of Whitney. He's just all over the back bumper. Now he's going to back off and give Whitney a little breathing room. But not for long as he's going to have a battle himself now, Matt, with the 91 of Jeffrey Paul. The sparks are flying between Mark McKay and Jeffrey Paul. Now Paul shifts his momentum to the outside. And let's see if he'll be able to scorch his way around that 52 car. Oh, Paul up in the air. Barrel roll, Jeffrey Paul. So our uh, safety crew early on to the scene. We are under a red flag situation with seven laps to go. And we have uh, hopefully some good news from turn three. Jeff Paul is out of the car. So Jeffrey Paul is out of the race car at turn three, a scary situation as that car cartwheeled its way down the back stretch before making severe contact with the turn three fence. But uh, somehow, Jeffrey Paul, I think that is him walking away from the accident scene as a, a wild ride as a- Side by side, we'll roll off here. to work on him is George Whitney to nine. Nose to tail, grinding right now. Who's it gonna be still? It is car number 32 of Chris Picard. But Whitney is not far away. He stays within striking distance. The 17, Jason Palmer is third. Our leader is Christopher McKay, but all over him, like fleas on an old hound, is the veteran, George Whitney. Five laps to go when they hit the strike. George Whitney's been in second for the last about 10 to 15 laps, but he knows that he's going to do something. The time is now. Only five more laps to go in this 20 lap feature. It's Chris McKay still up front. George Whitney in second, and it's car number 17 for Jason Palmer in third. We go to fourth, Vinny Esposito. He is still in the running. Challenge for the lead. Here comes Whitney. George Whitney in that yellow and black corner looking car. All over the inside of Chris McKay. George Whitney on the inside, but Kai high on the outside, going into turn number three. Can the nine of Whitney make the pass? Yes, he can. George Whitney, your new leader. Three laps to go. Whitney is trying to hold tough. And now it is Jason Palmer. He's going to become a contender. Look at Vinny Esposito on the bottom of Palmer, surging into third. Ben Esposito in car number zero on the inside of Jason Palmer. And Ben Esposito is now in third place. Up front, still George Whitney in that black and yellow car number nine. In second, the 32 of Chris McKay. Ben Esposito now in third. Single file we go, coming up on the white flag. Does George Whitney have enough? He's been in second all race. He bided his time. He finally made a move, and he's now first. But here comes Chris McKay in that orange number 32. All over the inside bumper. Now Chris McKay's going to go around. Chris McKay goes around in turn number two. So it'll be the nine of George Whitney taking down the checkered flag. It'll be a yellow checkered for George Whitney in car number nine, Ben Esposito second, and Jason Palmer's third. So Chris McKay, can't blame him for trying to win a race, went down to the inside and just got a little bit side. Number nine, the MJ Boss Monster car for George Whitney. And George getting a from a fellow competitor. George, it looks like you saved your car tonight for when you needed it the most. I don't know.
kind of came in at the end. We, we, I had this car, I was just bailed off the field today. I came to the lobby, told me to come and stay over there. I said, if it's even on door, we're going to the back. And guess what? Here we are. Well, whatever he did was work and a, a good pass to the league with an offer last to go. Yeah, it was a pretty good pass. He, he started pushing and I was getting a little bit loose, but he gave me enough to get under him. Once I got under him, so I was in there. I got to thank MJ Buck, Daniel Stars, and uh, Paul Nader. Um, very good, especially after a great run like that for Carter Lynn and George Whitney.